Hello there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another tarot reading. How are you guys, Scorpios? You guys are absolutely amazing to me, Scorpio. Scorpio, thank you guys so, so much for all of your positive feedback, your energy, your support in any way that you show me. I really do appreciate you guys. Please know that I am truly, truly, humbly grateful for the flood of support you continuously show brown eyes here at brown eyes intuitions so scorpio 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 this is another love romance uh energy pool for you scorpio so it may or may not resonate with you my darling so just take the part that fits discard the rest because it only means that this ain't your reading okay <laughs> and i mean that in the most possible way possible the most friendliest of loving way possible scorpio okay so today's incense scorpio we're going to be using two different incense because we're we pulling on this energy we got this first one come to me so we're calling we're come we, we're calling it to come to you scorpio what is it that you are ca calling to come to you scorpio where we're going to call in some love, okay? We got come to me and some love. Now, you may be up there talking about, look, I don't want no love. All I want is pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. Okay, that's fine. But for those who are, you know, in search of love, and love love can be so many different things. The energy of love can, can open so many doors. The energy of happiness can open so many doors. So, who who is ever in love? I'm talking about what is good love. It does not necessarily always have to be romantic love. You know, just the purest form of love. That energy, the high vibration of the energy of love is so happy that it can't help but to manifest. So we're calling in Scorpio love. Okay, keep that in mind. You're calling in love now. Don't look like you don't want this here love, Scorpio. Because for the Scorpios that do want it, they're going to get it and then some. Okay? Okay, I'm just saying. So we're going to start this reading off, Scorpio, to pull the New Orleans Oracle deck here. See what spirit has for you in terms of your messages, Scorpio. What type of energy is surrounding you? What do you need to know? What's going on with you, Scorpio? Woo! Lagniopi. Lagniopi. See, I will, I will get this, but I can't half as pronounced. Lagniopi. Lagniopi. Let me see what that's about, Scorpio. I've never seen this one. This is, well, this is water. This your energy. Look at that pearl, Scorpio. You see that beautiful pearl? Scorpio, this reminds me of the diamond in the rough. It's like you know something good is, is inside of you, but some people don't take the chance to get to know, Scorpio. They're too busy um, looking at that shell and like, don't nobody want no goddamn shell. But you're full of emotions, Scorpio. You're full of surprises. You are a gem, Scorpio. You are you are prize yourself. Forget getting prize, Scorpio. You are the prize. And don't ever, ever, ever forget. And look, they done broke it down. I guess I done had this word before. It's called lanyop. <laughs> I love you, Fatima. Because Fatima break her shit down. She like, look here, brown eyes. I, 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 I broke it down specifically for energy like yours. So this means gifts. See, like I say, you are... A prize. You are a gift. This is gift. A gift, Scorpio. It says good intentions always pay off in one way or another. Scorpio, you've pulled this card because although things in your life may not have panned out exactly as you had anticipated, your karmic reward will be quite pleasant and may surprise you. Sometimes the best gifts are the unexpected ones. If you continue to live your life led by positive and loving thoughts and actions, the peaceful and pleasant results may surprise you, Scorpio. Scorpio, you're getting unexpected gifts coming your way, honey. It's one, it's like from one gift to another gift, from one precious gift to another gift. Scorpio, you have a gift coming to you, honey, because you are indeed a gift, Scorpio. You are you're the gift, Scorpio. You're the prize. And at the bottom, it's talking about their patience. You're going to have to be patient. But in all of your patience, Scorpio, stay busy. Stay busy nurturing yourself, building your own personal foundation, Scorpio. Because we know that Scorpio loves, and we, we jump in like, like <laughs> we don't even need no, 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 nothing to catch us on the bottom. We're just that trusting with our emotions when we feel like we have the quote unquote, the one. We jump in hard face, Scorpio, and we have to learn a valuable lesson. So 
Be patient at everything that you're manifesting. It doesn't mean that it's not coming, Scorpio. It just means that it's happening in divine timing. But don't you dare give up, Scorpio, because it's, you're almost there, Scorpio. You have so much abundance surrounding you, Scorpio. Now is not the time to even think about giving up, Scorpio. Look. You got all these rabbits around now. We know rabbits are abundant. We know this is fertility. This is rebirth. We know what they're, you know, you know, the saying always go, man, they're in there fucking like rabbits, man. She got a whole litter of rabbits because they're so, they're so, um, they're so, uh, fruitful here. So your patience is about to pay off in such a fruitful, uh, look, the universe wants you to keep going, keep going, Scorpio. Your patience is paying off. Whatever you do, don't stop. Keep going, Scorpio, because you're almost there. Look at that. Keep on climbing to the top. You're climbing to the top, Scorpio. And I know sometimes it doesn't feel like you're being justly rewarded, but you're not worried about man's reward. You're worrying about your creator's reward because we know the creator's uh, reward is so just, it's so fair, and it's open and it's public. And you're going to get your praise and your recognition for it, Scorpio. Everything you've been putting in, Scorpio, is a paying off in amazing, amazing ways. So just because you don't physically see it does not mean it's not working. It just means that you just need to stay patient and stay busy. That's all. Keep moving. So we're going to pull some of these. Um, which cards are these? I don't forget what the name of these cards. I think these are V-Love. V-Love crystals. V-Love crystals because she has amazing energy. So let's see what type of romantic energy is coming towards you, Scorpio, using these beautiful cards. And you look at the colors. This is this is love. You call, you got the love coming in, Scorpio. You do. We're calling in it. So it's coming in. Show us Scorpio's love. What is coming in for Scorpio in love and romance, please? Scorpio, show me Scorpio's love and romance. What's coming in for Scorpio in love and romance, please? Please be kind for my Scorpios solitude yep you 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 stuck to you on yourself you you kind of trying to stay to yourself but it's something that's gonna uproot all that shit i'm telling you you ain't gonna be to yourself alone scorpio it's time to come out of that shell how you gonna find it if you if you're hiding now some scorpios know they hide now because they still some scorpios are still healing and some scorpios are too afraid but Scorpio is going to find you. You can't hide. You can't run from love, honey. You can't. When it's your time, Scorpio, you can't do nothing about it. But go with the flow. You'll be happy that you did. But the universe knows how to get your attention. While you're trying to put up a guard and act like you ain't thinking about nothing but working. And you don't want no loving. You don't want no compliments. You don't want nobody to tell you how beautiful and sexy you are. How awesome you are. You're like, don't say nothing to me. But that's not performance you putting on a performance <laughs> you somebody may take you out to a performance too scorpio but i feel like you're very theatrical <laughs> you're putting on a performance because deep down the universe knows that that's a bunch of bullshit you know you want somebody you just you just need to uh build your build your faith scorpio stand and stand in your truth take a chance you know because you have to trust that the universe has you regardless of what happens it's, we don't have one soulmate. We have so many different doors open to us if we can just see it that way, Scorpio. But you have to see it that way, I'm telling you. You can have what you say, but what you're going to get is what you perceive and what you say. You're not going to get what you mean. You're going to get what you say, Scorpio, and what you repetitiously always think about. Extremity, this is some fire. I feel like something is going to light your fire, honey. You find you about to get some, some spark back to this solitude. Why you trying to stay all quiet and all to yourself and act like you don't need nobody. You ain't going back to your past. And I just looked at my rich. I got time today. You on that shit. No, no, no. You need to come on with that shit. Talking about you don't need nobody. You ain't going back. But the universe like, uh-huh. We'll see. When I send this fire your way, let's see. You still be talking that same talk, Scorpio. Scorpio, the universe is tripping off of you. I'm telling you. <laughs> They're laughing at you. <laughs> because they already see what's coming towards you. And they know behind this, this wall that Scorpio puts up underneath this wall is a beautiful, be beautiful, gentle soul that just longs and desires to, to love and to be loved. I mean, how can you tell someone who's full of love not to love, Scorpio? Blinded. Someone may be blinded by love, Scorpio. I feel like someone is blinded by love or someone may be refusing to see the truth. And it could be you, Scorpio. I feel like you are refusing to see the truth, Scorpio. I feel like some Scorpios have turned their back on love, so to speak, 
It, it, they may be verbally saying, I don't want damn thing. I just want to go to bed with all my pentacles. I'm going to wash my pentacles and we're going to just go to bed and be happy. No, you're, you're tripping. That's not it. Like, like this car says, patience. Just because you don't see it does not mean it's not happening. There are some things operating behind the scenes, Scorpio, that you're going to have to use your faith. And, and Scorpio, you're intuitive. You're supposed to already know this. You, you may be blinded by your emotions where you can't see the reality of what you're trying to manifest or what your heart is really stuck on because you're stuck on someone here. So you're stuck on the one. So you can't get this specific one out of your mind, Scorpio. I mean, damn, he is dressed kind of clean. You, you know, I would date him. He got on the, the beautiful colors. You're stuck on this one, Scorpio. And in your mind, you feel like if you don't say nothing, if you don't pursue love, if you don't try to reach out to love, if you just stay on your grind, make your money, and just take turn a blind eye to what your emotions are telling you, then you'll be good. But that's not happening because you got this extremities, this fire is coming to change all of, uh, this fire is coming to to challenge you Scorpio <laughs> it's coming to, to challenge your beliefs Scorpio I'm telling you so you talking all this stuff but I'm telling you you fool us but you know you could leave all the comments you want but the universe like uh-huh we're gonna see we're gonna see Ooh. they go their, their union again <laughs> we're gonna take their union card one more card for Scorpio and love and romance union you got this union card, Scorpio. The one you look, Scorpio. You're gonna have a union with the one that you've so desperately been wanting. I'm telling you, that's what's about to happen for you. You got a gift coming. It could be a ring. I'm just saying. Would you, you remember? You got this card here. Uh, patience. Now this lack, y'all, lack, y'all. <laughs> you got a gift coming, Scorpio. I'm telling you, be. Pre prepare yourself because you got a gift coming you're going to be blindsided you're not going to see this coming scorpio because you're too busy putting on this performance and blocking yourself off trying to keep yourself away like it does not matter to you anymore but that's going to change you got some fire coming in scorpio i'm telling you this person could be a fire sign scorpio i'm just gonna say that's between but look, you got a union coming in, though. You got a union coming in with the one. You got a union coming in with the one, Scorpio. You see that? You got a union coming in with the one. Someone who is extremely passionate and on fire for this union, Scorpio. I'm telling you, this this, this is the card. They ain't lying. This is what you got coming on. Let me, let me leave these two over here so I can keep this on my mind. What's coming towards Scorpio? The one in this union... And this this fire. All right, so let me pull. Let me go to the tarot, Scorpio, cause you be front. I know you be front, Scorpio, cause sometimes I do too. I'm just gonna keep it real. I do, but I really do mean it pertaining to an ex. I don't want no ex. I don't mean no harm. I forgive. I wish everybody much love, but I don't want that. It's too many lonely people in this world for you to have to settle for something that you no longer desire anymore, Scorpio. It doesn't make you a bad person. It just means, for me, I've learned my lesson, and I've gotten out of it exactly what I was supposed to get out of it, and I'm so thankful that I am aware of that. I see the maturity in me. That's really That relationship grew me up, and I know, <laughs> please believe, I know I did some hell of a shit to that person, so Hopefully this person can forgive and uh, heal as well. So let's see, Scorpio. What's come? Look, look. I tried to shuffle this, but you see, this is at the bottom. You got this Capricorn at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. This is a uh, toxic energy. This could be someone obsessing over you. This could be some type of codependent energy, Scorpio. This could be a mindset, Scorpio, where you're afraid of something here, or it could be someone who is just uh, obsessing over you. It could be someone who's bound to another lover. A toxic karmic situation to Scorpio. And this could also be a karmic relationship that's trying to come into you. Or someone is trying to come to you that's already bound in a karmic relationship. Goddamn, Scorpio. Let's see. <laughs> What's going on for my lovely, lovely Scorpio's universe? Be kind to Scorpio. We want the good shit for Scorpio. Let it be good. Ooh, that do you see how they just pop right out? <laughs> Damn, Scorpio, what's going on? Y'all must, y'all, do y'all got a Capricorn trying to, trying to bum rush your ass? This is the devil card. 
this really wanted to show up. I got dang, that's the Capricorn Scorpio. If it's not a, if it's not a, a, a Capricorn, which I said I'm not gonna say who this person is, but this is the Capricorn's card, so I have to say that. If it's not a Capricorn who is trying to come back to you, who is trying to come back to give you this union, Scorpio, because they are quote unquote the one, then this is someone who's coming in that may be addicted or have some type of problems. We don't need that shit. Show me some more energy for Scorpio. What is up with Scorpio, please? Show me the energy surrounding me. So we have six of wands here. So this is recognition. This is um clout. This is a uh, honor here. Someone, I don't know if someone is admiring you. Someone could be obsessing over you, Scorpio, because this is your energy, I feel like. I feel like, Scorpio, you have recognition. You have all eyes on you. Uh, because you're you're above you, you you're being exalted the light is on you so quite naturally this person would be obsessing over you Scorpio seems like you got an obsessive fan you hear me I think you got a fan Scorpio that's obsessing over you let's see show me some more energy for Scorpio what's going on with Scorpio please for romance and love show us the loving energy for Scorpio please what's surrounding Scorpio in love Ooh. With them way too many cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if I take these cards, Scorpio, that means we have... <laughs> if I was to take these cards, we got the Empress, we got the Page of Cups, we got the King of Pentacles, and we got the Six of Cups. And you know what? I'm going to take it. <laughs> Somebody's trying to return to you, Scorpio. They may look upon you. This could be the parent of your child, Scorpio. Oh, God damn, Scorpio. God damn. Give me some more cards for Scorpio. This a boss, Scorpio. Whoever it is, they they trip it. They um <laughs> could be dealing with the cancer, Scorpio. Somebody's really trying to approach you. I'm telling you, someone is obsessive over you, Scorpio. Now I do see. I see earth. Only thing is missing now is air. <laughs> oh my God. Now you got the king of cups. Scorpio, what you got going on? You well, at least they kings. I can at least say at least they're kings. So I see you got two people on this table here, Scorpio. Two bosses, two adults. And rightfully so, because look at you. You're showing up as the Empress, Scorpio. Who? Give me one more card for this bread for Scorpio and the life of Scorpio. Show me the energy and the life of a Scorpio. And you have the Ace of Wands. Somebody trying to start over with you, Scorpio. I feel like one of these people here, either this, this King of Pentacles or this King of Cups... Or they both could be obsessing over you, Scorpio. At the bottom of the deck, we have the four of swords. Someone ahead to recuperate something here. Who could recuperate? Look, there go the love of Scorpio. <laughs> Someone had to take a break. Someone may have taken a break. Uh, so this fight, I feel like someone left something, Scorpio. The hangman is in reverse. So someone has had a change of perspective pertaining to your connection, Scorpio. Something they were involved with, and maybe them being away from you was a burden, Scorpio. Oh, we Scorpio, and you got the Seven of Swords in reverse. They're they're no longer trying 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 to do shady shit, Scorpio. Oh, we Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. It never gets boring with you, Scorpio. So let's see what you have here, Scorpio. Now, like I say, you have the Six of Wands. I feel like all eyes are on you, Scorpio. I do. I feel like all eyes are on you from multiple people, multiple pursuers. People are looking at you. You are the shit, Scorpio. I feel like it's an obsession, you know, stalking obsession. Someone is really watching you. They have a thing for you, Scorpio. They really have a thing for you, Scorpio. Um, someone wants to communicate this with you. But I feel like they want to do it in a sneak tip type of way with this page of cups here. Because this is a messenger. It's also, also like a child like to. So this could very well be a, a younger person too. It could, also, it could be up to th three people, Scorpio, uh, that's trying to get your attention here. But <laughs> this king of cups has a cup in their hand though. So 
Let's see. Let's see. But look, we got the Six of Cups. So this is past life. God dang, Scorpio. You got the Six of Cups and the Lovers. Both of these are a soulmate, twin of uh, spiritual connections here, Scorpio. So one of these people, if not both of them, are two different soulmates for you, Scorpio. Okay? That's what I feel like. I feel like <laughs> if when you ask, it shall come. Because you remember, we pull, come to me, and love. So... Let's see. Let's start clarifying these cards. So we know this King of Pentacles is earth energy, very grounded here, uh, a very good provider. They're going to take care of you. They're going to invest in you. They're going to build with you. Um, we know this King of Pentacles is someone who wants to settle down here. Now, this Empress is a is a uh, usually a married woman, but she's she's considered a uh, fertile, pregnant uh, Mother Earth here. So I feel like you're every woman to the to them, Scorpio. And so you remember this King of Cups, he's water energy just like you, Scorpio. This is love right here. This is the love emotional side. And then you have the earthly provision side with this King of Pentacles. But either way it goes, somebody's trying to charge into you, Scorpio. They're trying to come. Someone wants someone is that's from your past and this Six of Cups. Someone that wants this new beginning with you, Scorpio. Uh, someone that wants to start something out with you. Someone that wants to be creative and to create something together in a new journey together, Scorpio. So I feel like in this Six of Wands, this Page of Cups, it, like I said, it could be a third person here, just a younger person that's watching you, got a crush on you. They want to reach out. So you could have a younger person that that's sending you little love messages and, and little things like this, Scorpio, but it's not anything major. Uh, but I feel like when we talk about the big dogs here, which is the king of pentacles and the king of cups, they're the two that wants, one of them want this union because one of them, Scorpio, one of them are indeed the one. One of your person, Scorpio, is the one and they want this union. I'm telling you, they do. So let's see, can we get down to the nitty of the gritty, Scorpio? Okay, so let's start off with this six. Let's start off with the devil. Why is the devil here for Scorpio? Clarify the devil, please. Let me use this deck. Clarify the devil for Scorpio. Clarify the devil for Scorpio, please. The devil, Scorpio, somebody's obsessed over you. I told you, they want to rush in with this Knight of Wands. <laughs> you know they want to rush in, Scorpio. I'm just saying, they watching you and they obsessed over you. They watching you. They're watching you get all this attention, Scorpio, because some of this attention that you're getting, Scorpio, is from them. And it turns them on, Scorpio. I feel like it turns them on, Scorpio, because this is someone who is familiar with you. This is someone who you've been with. And it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a in between a jealous slash admiration because they got like a one up because it's like they're watching everybody admire you because you're getting attention, you're getting recognition, Scorpio, you're being uplifted here, but they're watching you too, but they feel like they have an advantage because they done been with you before, Scorpio. They know how you taste, they know how you ride, they know how you say. Oh, daddy they know all that shit about the scorpio so when they're obsessing over you and this devil energy scorpio is all because they remember what they know about you that all your fans don't know <laughs> they got an inside thing going on about the scorpio they say can't nobody touch it i know you want scorpio but god damn it i already had scorpio and i'm going back i can't wait to get back to scorpio this is what i feel this person is obsessing over you scorpio they're jealous and they're, admi they're jealous and turned on at the same time, Scorpio. Clarify the devil for Scorpio. The world. This person may be traveling from somewhere else, Scorpio. They could be. They could be. This could be a fixed sign because you know you got all these fixed signs are with this world card. Scorpio, you are a fixed sign. This Knight of Wands is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. It's fire energy. That's a fixed sign. We got Taurus. That's a fixed sign. And it's one more. We've got um, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and I don't think it's Pisces. It could be Gemini. Is that Gemini? I don't know. It's one of them. Y'all let me know. 
But I don't know if this person is coming back. I feel like this person is traveling and they're rushing in to you. They're not taking their time. What they're witnessing, either they have in, hurry up and closed out a cycle and they're rushing in to you, Scorpio, or this person is traveling to you in passion. Because remember, Scorpio, you got this extremities. You got that passion right there. This, somebody's trying to rush in and, and claim what's there, Scorpio. This is what I feel. They're trying to claim you. They're trying to claim you now that they see you getting all this attention, Scorpio. So either this person is rushing in from a, a far away or this person is rushing in after they have completed some type of major cycle in their life, Scorpio. Clarify the devil for Scorpio. Y'all, it's noisy out there. See, they come... Oh, shit. They coming back in because they want to renew this connection. This is reconciliation connection, uh, energy, Scorpio. But you see it's three people here. It don't need to be three people to go out. I'm just saying, goddamn, the third person becomes a third wheel. But, you know, you could actually just go out and, and, and have a good time. That could be that, and it could just be just symbolizing that three chicks is going out kicking it. Or this represents this person wants to take you out because this is the only card they have for celebration. And we always think that it's always a third party. But it could just be you literally going out to party and kicking it. But, you know, this person is in this devil energy, Scorpio. They're obsessing over you. But remember, Scorpio, we have the world card there. So like I said, they could have just, just ended a cycle. They could have just ended a cycle. They could have left a cycle, but whoever they left may have not ended it with them. You hear me? Because like I say, you remember you have lovers in here. This is a decision. This is partners. This is your decision. You have to choose someone. So it's multiple people in involved. So I'm going to have to say that. So let's go on over here to the Six of Cups. Clarify the Six of Cups for Scorpio, please. Six of Cups, Scorpio. <laughs> it's clarified by the Emperor. Who I say you was, Scorpio. You remember who you are? That's you right there. So this is a divine partnership right here, Scorpio. This is why this Six of Cups here and the Lover's Card is here. It's because there's some type of spiritual connection here. Although it may be kind of binding and restricting and, and borderline toxic because we do have the Devil Card here. Your person is your divine, Scorpio. We're clarifying the Six of Cups, your person, your divine person is coming back again. They're coming back around in this Six of Cups because remember, we're clarifying Six of Cups. We know that this is nostalgia, reminiscent energy, childhood energy, reconciliation. So somebody's trying to reconcile with you, Scorpio. Now, I don't know which one it is, but somebody is trying to come in for this union here. They're coming in with a gift. Remember that they're coming in with some type of gift, Scorpio. And they, they are passionately led. And we see this Knight of Wands here. I'm just saying. Clarify Six of Cups for Scorpio. Six of Cups. Look at that, Scorpio. You have the Knight of Pentacles. They're coming in to bring you a stable, reliable offer. This is more Earth energy, Scorpio. That it is. I'm just saying. It's what it is. And just because the, the signs are on this thing, you know who your person is. I'm going to let you choose who this is for you. I'm not going to limit that because it could be your person. I don't know. You know, they could just be embodying the energy of these cards and not necessarily their particular character. So, like I said, you have to do your part too, Scorpio. Now, God dang. Now, I'm just saying. Everybody ain't dealing with no Leo and Capricorn, okay? It's all other signs out there too, okay? So, let's clarify this Six of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify Six of Wands for Scorpio, please. Six of Wands is clarified by judgment, Scorpio. This is a long due recognition, Scorpio, that you have waited for so, so very long, Scorpio. This is your just due. This is what you have planted, Scorpio. This is what you get for what you have sown, Scorpio. You finally get the recognition and the honor you so, so lovingly deserve. And whatever way that is, Scorpio, but you're getting attention. I'm telling you, you have risen to the top. You're not, you look, you up on a horse. You're getting attention. You got a crown on your head, honey. You got victory. You're getting attention. People are admiring you for whatever skill and talent that the creator has sent you down here with. You are getting the attention that you just, that you deserve, Scorpio. And your person, they paying attention to all this shit. They, they watching. Please believe they watching. Clarify six of wands for Scorpio. Okay. 
Clarify six of wands for Scorpio, please. Teddy Pendergrass said, don't hurt now, Scorpio. You got the four wands. <laughs> now, you know what this means, though. It means that all that goddamn shit you be talking about, I don't need damn body. All I'm going to do is just stay here. And I ain't going to say shit. I'm going to stay to myself. I'm just going to build my money. But the universe said you got gifts coming, Scorpio. Look, this is the four wands, Scorpio. This is fire energy. This is the victory that... You, the, your, your recognition is your reward and your recognition is not just people paying attention to you, Scorpio. You got rewards coming with that elevation. You're being promoted all around, not just for the people's sake. No, you're getting some desires of your heart that's manifesting too, Scorpio. Look at that four wands. That's that union right there. That's it right there. The one. This is this, this this is what you're gonna get in this judgment energy for your six of wands. You're getting this. You're getting this commitment. This is a marriage card. You see this, don't you? Goddamn! All right, don't like you don't see this, Scorpio. Don't don't play with me, cause y'all be talking all that hard shit, and I know better. I already know, but I understand, Scorpio. I love you still. All right, let's see what's up with this page of cups. Now, is this an admirer? This old young ass admirer with milk still behind his ears and probably half ass wiping his ass. Okay, let me stop. Clarify this page of cups for Scorpio, please. Page of cups. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. <laughs> Damn. Whoever, okay, so this is communication then, Scorpio. That's what this page of cups, this is someone that's trying to call in, apologize. Somebody's trying to come in and apologize to you, Scorpio. Someone with the six of cups, someone from your past is coming back to apologize to you, Scorpio. They just want to say they sorry, Scorpio, and that they miss you and that they love you so, so much, Scorpio. Ooh -wee. You a bad mother, brother, shut your mouth. I'm telling you, yes, you are. Because you ain't even doing it. You remember, you stand to yourself. You was fronting like you don't need nobody. You don't need nobody, Scorpio. But somebody from your past, your soulmate is coming back in to apologize. Clarify the page of cups. Because they have not been the same, Scorpio. They have not been the same. This disconnect, whatever they done, whatever took place in this relationship that ended it, it has really tremendously mind fucked them up. Do you hear me? They ain't slept since they since you guys separated. I feel like this you this person you're hunting this person. They can't even sleep every time they blink their eyes. They see you. This is the judgment on them. This is the karmic judgment, Scorpio. The karmic judge the the, the karma that this person is receiving is that the since they know that they had you in their life, they did you wrong some type of way. Now they are trying to come back and they are obsessed. Over the very one that they kicked out in the cold. Now they watching your ass and they stalking you. And now they don't know what the hell to do, Scorpio. Because they, they know they're coming back. And I guess they feel like they don't know if you're going to accept this apology, Scorpio. But they obsessed. They thinking about you. I'm telling you, this is obsession energy right here, Scorpio. I'm telling you, this is what your person doing. Now let's check out these bosses on the table. Now you got this King of Pentacles and you got this King of Cups. Now... One of these persons here is coming in to apologize, which is your past life. But I feel like both of them are. I just do. Because look, damn, Scorpio, I feel like you got two soulmates on here, two past life people. Because this Six of Cups up here, clarify this one, you get the Emperor and the Knight of Pentacles. They coming in to bring you a solid offer here. I feel like this is one of those. It could be this Earth sign because it's the same energy. But this one over here, this page of cups, is coming in with cups. So this could be the water sign. You feel me? You got, you got, <laughs> and it doesn't mean that, that, that they are earth and, and water, but I see it, it, it uh, lining up like that. Because you got fire, you got everybody in here. But I'm saying to, to, to match each, each one of them up, because you specifically got two people here. You got this King of Cups and this King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles is returning from your past, Scorpio, which is the Emperor, which is your soulmate because you're showing up as the Empress. And they're coming in with a solid offer because they're about them Pentacles. And I feel like pertaining to this King of Cups, 
This King of Cups is trying to apologize to you, Scorpio. And they're coming back with the Six of Cups to apologize because they have not been the same, okay? Because they know that they, did, they didn't do something right, uh, Scorpio, and they're trying to make things better between the two of you. You follow me, Scorpio? All right. So let's continue. Now let's check out this King of Pentacles. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Scorpio, please. What's up with this person? What is this King of Pentacles' intentions towards Scorpio, please? Clarify King of Pentacles. Scorpio. <laughs> this King of Pentacles, Scorpio, is trying to make you the Queen of Pentacles. Do you hear me? I'm telling this person, say you, they're divine. They say, I got you. You're my equal. They Look, look, I ain't got time for this shit. This, this, this is the, this is the king of pentacles. This is you with your king of pentacles. <laughs> the same, um, uh, and I feel like the same king of pentacles is coming back because they are your emperor and they look upon you as their empress. We, this king of pentacles is coming back in to make you their queen of pentacles, Scorpio. Let me, let me remind you. You got the one coming back in with for a union, Scorpio. You got gifts coming in, Scorpio. You got the one coming in for this union. Okay? All right. Follow me, follow me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Y'all remember Snoop Dogg? You said Snoop Dogg. Okay. Clarify King of Pentacles for Scorpio, please. Show me this King of Pentacles. They trying to make it do what it do, baby. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shit. Oh my God, Scorpio, you Scorpio, you the shit. I love you so much, Scorpio, because you know how to work that shit. This person trying to do whatever they got to do to make it right. They trying to make you there, Scorpio. They trying to marry you. They trying to put a ring on it, Scorpio, because you put that thing on. You put that Scorpio essence of love on them, Scorpio. Now they're trying to come in and marry your ass quick, fast, in a hurry, Scorpio. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to manifest you back into their life as their partner, their queen of pentacles, because they are the king of pentacles. One more card for the king of pentacles. <laughs> they go that chariot card again, Scorpio. There's somebody, some Scorpio is about to get a hell of a visit. Now, this is cancer. You remember we got the king of cups over here. <laughs> Somebody, you got two chariots on the board. You got two different pursuers on this board, Scorpio. So, I don't know. I don't know. Woo-wee. Just got juicy here. So, let's go to this king of cups. Clarify this king of cups for Scorpio. What is your intentions, Mr. King of Cups, towards Scorpio, please? Spill it. Clarify the king of cups, please. The nine of pentacles, the nine of pentacles. So what you're coming, they're, oh, okay. They're coming in, their intentions is what to make you, uh, they may be coming in just to add value, but I feel like you're already a valuable. Maybe this king of cups is coming in as a single person here, Scorpio, because you are already on your shit, Scorpio. I know they're not coming in to make you single. You're already single, Scorpio. Clarify the king of cups, Scorpio, for Scorpio. This four of cups, Scorpio. This king of cups is something. So I feel like this king of cups may have not always been uh, single and available. I feel like they have just now become single and available, but they're bored and they're discontent. So they're trying to come to you, Scorpio. Clarify this king of cups for Scorpio, please. Or they could be looking at you like this, Scorpio. They could be like, damn, I want Scorpio, but Scorpio the shit. Scorpio don't need me for nothing. I want to holler at Scorpio, but I fear Scorpio is going to reject my offer. Look, you got this offer right here with this page of cups and this person coming back in and them in their head about it because they feel like you're going to reject this offer. This is this king of cups, Scorpio. I'm telling you, they feel like you the shit because they've been watching you too. You may not want to fuck with them and they fear that if they send you this cup, you're going to keep your goddamn arms closed and act like you don't even see it. Because she ain't even looking up. She's looking straight. She looking straight. She ain't looking up at the cup. She's like, uh-uh, I don't want that. He like, just open your arms, Scorpio. Please take it. you like, uh-uh, I don't need you. I'm the nine of pentacles. 
Whew, one more card for the King of Cups, please, for Scorpio. Ooh-wee. This person wants to work with you, Scorpio. This person is trying to come in and make money with you. They're trying to offer you an abundant, uh, a new beginning here and something that you guys can make money. They say, God damn, Scorpio, I know you're getting money, but I want to make more money with you, Scorpio. Please, 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 Scorpio, let me be on your team. This person just want to be on your team, Scorpio. They want to be on a winning team because after all, Scorpio, you are the six of wands. You hear me? You are the six of ones. Don't, don't get it twisted. Now, let's go. Come on over here for the thing. Click off. What's up with this empress here? Clarify the empress for Scorpio, please. The empress is clarified by the tower. And the empress is Libra. And this tower is Scorpio and uh, Aries here. So, this empress, <laughs> they all look at you like this. They all look at you like, damn. Or this is what it's telling you, Scorpio. You're not going to see this shit coming. You're going to have folks coming all out the fucking woodwork for you, Scorpio, because you own your shit, Scorpio. You are shining. You may not even feel like it, but you got a lot of eyes on you, Scorpio. That's why people are hating on you. I'm telling you. Clarify the empress. Ooh, you're not going to see this coming, Scorpio. You know, you're sitting up there with your arms all folded, talking about you You all in this solitude, these first red cards that I pull, and you was acting like you don't want nothing based on that energy. You was fronting and shit, putting on a performance. The universe is going to tear all that shit down because they see through you, Scorpio. They know deep down you want, you want the one in this union, but you just don't want to be hurt because you are afraid, Scorpio. And it's okay, my darlings. It's still coming. When love calls, Scorpio, you better answer, you better answer, cause it might be a bit too late if you decide to ever come again. <laughs> I'm telling you when love calls, yeah, you better answer, you better answer. You better answer. I'm just saying. Don't block them. I'm telling you, Scorpio, you know your block game is awesome. You block this love, you're really going to feel it. I'm telling you, this shit, you're not going to see it coming. Woo! The universe is bad to the bone. Thank you, universe. Clarify the empress <laughs> for Scorpio. Damn. You're not going to see this devil coming you're not gonna see this obsessive energy coming Scorpio. Well, this, this oh scorpio i promise you it's oh damn you're not gonna see this shit coming you're not gonna see all this obsession coming your way and this is what i feel you not because see you don't even know somebody is attached to you like that you have no idea but when it hits you're gonna be like damn what you doing back you're going to have multiple people coming back, and you're going to be like, damn, well, what the hell? you still coming back. You're going to be surprised to know that they're still holding on to you. They're still attached to you, Scorpio. They're still obsessed over Scorpio. They can't get over Scorpio just like that. No, 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 no. Anybody else, perhaps, but not Scorpio. Give me one more card for this. And this empress is bad. This empress is a bad. This empress next to the six of wands. Woo-wee. I see why they coming back. Clarify the Empress for Scorpio. Because all these people are sad and missing the shit out your ass. Ain't that some shit, Scorpio? <laughs> oh my God, they coming back because they miss you and they regret how things happen. And they regret because they never was in an equal give and take. And they regret ghosting you, Scorpio. And they regret blood coming you, Scorpio. And they regret uh, just, just acting like you wasn't the shit that you've always been. Oh, yep, they regret it, Scorpio. And they coming back because they can't, just can't seem to let you go, Scorpio. All right, now we got the chariot and the ace of wands. We know what that chariot is. I want to see about this ace of wands. Clarify the ace of wands for Scorpio. 
This is a long video. I didn't mean to. Ooh, the Ace of Wands, Scorpio. Guess what? It's clarified by the sun. They get happy. <laughs> they don't just get happy, Scorpio. No, no, no. They get happy when they think about a brand new, passionate new beginning with you, Scorpio. By the way, Scorpio, this sun card does represent uh, Leo's energy. Okay, FYI. Clarify Ace of Wands for Scorpio. One more card. See, it could be anybody. I don't see so look. <laughs> This 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 person watching you too, the page is so you got so many people, all eyes are on you. That's what I said. They're watching you be exalted, they're watching all this attention on you, and it's driving them insane because they feel like they got an added advantage. They know you personally, but they but they know they're on the outside. They, so they're trying to get back in the inside game. They want to be a part of the in crowd. They've been watching, they've never gotten over you, Scorpio. You see this devil energy. You just got a whole bunch of exes obsessing over you, Scorpio, that's watching the hell out of your each. And they can tell you how many bowel moves you have in a day. I'm just saying. All right. Now, this chariot card, which is cancer. Clarify the chariot for, can uh, for Scorpio. The chariot. <laughs> Damn. Guess who this is, Scorpio? Yeah, I bet you bet you won't guess who this is. All right, the chariot is clarified by the king of pentacles. This king of pentacles, now it does not necessarily mean it's a king of pentacles, but it does represent that this is a boss energy that has very good, uh, uh, very good provider, makes very good money, very grounded. This person is coming to it. They're, they're going to, ooh, hoo, hoo. they're coming for their honey. They're coming for the honey of Scorpio. They're coming for the honey a Scorpio, whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, Scorpio, you got them all coming in. God damn, Scorpio, you got so much going on. You, This is all damn near an hour reading. Let me hear it pull one of because I know this is going to end. <laughs> oh, my God, Scorpio, you got so much going on. You got so many admirers, and they coming. They coming for you. And you can put on the front all you want to, but you got some decisions to make, my lovely, Okay. Well, you can front all you want to in that comment section, but the universe is going to pull your cards. And that's all I'm going to say. Damn, jealousy. Didn't I tell you folks was jealous about you? Didn't I say the Empress and the Six of Wands, whoever these uh, admirers, these exes, they're jealous because you're getting that attention and because they feel like they know you. They used to pop your back open. They used to lick it, lick it, lick it. They know you personally and they want to be a part of the in crowd. It says, watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors to nature to reconnect and replenish. Be careful, Scorpio. Ooh, so if this person come back in, don't don't tell them nothing, Scorpio. Don't tell them too much. It ain't the goddamn business. If they wasn't there with you with day one, then they don't they they're not privy to certain things. Is what the universe is saying. It's telling you to use your intuition. It says trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest money, Scorpio. So Scorpio. This is your reading, my darling. So if this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Leave me a comment uh, for I have a few slots available for personal readings. Uh, if you're interested, check out the description box below. Scorpios, I love you guys. Mwah! And I'll talk to you on the next video. Thumbs up this video, Scorpio. Bye.